Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about a 4 month old infant brought with history of cough for the past 1 to 2 weeks. An apparently normal child with a normal antenatal, natal and postnatal history. The child had received vaccination as per IAP immunization schedule. Because of this progressive increase in cough for the past 1 to 2 weeks, the child was admitted somewhere else and received a course of third generation cephalosporin along with hypertonic saline nebulization. But there is no response. So, the child is referred to our institute. What is this case? Is it a case of bronchiolitis? Do we require an additional adrenaline or salbutamol nebulization? Or is it a case of an airway anomaly requiring a fiber optic bronchoscopy? Or do we need to try an anti-reflex therapy in this case? I am Dr. Sharad Balaji. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about a specific cough pointer in decoding the etiology in this case. Child has been coughing a while without any response to beta lactime antibiotic and hypertonic saline. On inquiry, there is no preceding coryza. On examination, there is no VS. So it is unlikely be due to bronchiolitis. There is no fever or toxicity. So it is unlikely be due to bacterial pneumonia. Look at the cough pattern in this child. Coughing, breathing, coughing, breathing. So what can I say? In between every cough, the child breathes or in between every breathing, the child coughs. This is called cough, breath, cough, breath, cough, breath pattern. Is it a case of pertussis? Remember, in pertussis, you will have a boots of cough, paroxysmal cough, without any pause or breathing in between. But here, in between cough, there is a pause. That pause is filled with a normal breathing pattern. So it is unlikely be due to pertussis. Or is it a case of an airway anomaly? The answer is at fourth month of life. And on examination, there is only crepitations and no spider. So it is unlikely be due to airway anomaly. X-ray was taken, which revealed a normal study. CBC absolute neutrophil count normal, absolute lymphocyte count normal, but there is a mild eosinophilia. So what is this case? This is nothing but afebrile pneumonia of infancy caused by chlamydia and the drug of choice is azithromycin. I repeat, this afebrile pneumonia of infancy is common between 4 weeks to 4 months of life. And the main specific cough pointer in this case is staccato cough. What is this staccato cough? Cough, breath, cough, breath, cough, breath. Thanks for your patient listening. Bye for now.